Someone asked me recently whether it's possible to scroll the mixer horizontally using the mouse wheel. Well, yes, it is possible in Pro X3, but not in Pro X2 or earlier. Anyway, I decided to make a tutorial showing how to use the mouse wheel for scrolling in the mixer and also adjusting the faders. The mouse I am using is a Logitech Trackball M570, which is my preferred mouse. But as long as you have a mouse with a wheel, you should be able to do the same. This project has 100 tracks and the whole mixer doesn't fit on the screen. So using the mouse wheel to scroll the mixer is a useful feature. Incidentally, I'm using a 40 inch 4K monitor set to 125% scaling. Normally, you would grab the scroll bar at the bottom of the mixer with the mouse and drag it left or right. That's left click and drag. To use the mouse wheel, hover the mouse cursor over the scroll bar. If I flick the mouse wheel towards me, the mixer scrolls to the far right. If I flick the mouse wheel away from me, the mixer scrolls to the left. A more gentle movement of the wheel will scroll the mixer to a halfway position, well, kind of halfway. These movements will possibly vary depending on what mouse you are using and what mouse software is installed. If you hold down the shift modifier and move the mouse wheel, the mixer will scroll one channel at a time. So that's basically the two possibilities, using the mouse wheel with or without the modifier. There are a total of five target areas when mouse wheel scrolling in the mixer. Here on the scroll bar at the bottom, you can also place the mouse cursor over the track name area. Also above the fader on the number header. Also the track names at the top. Plus this very thin strip above the outputs. So these are the five target areas for horizontal scrolling using the mouse wheel. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the mouse wheel with the faders. Simply hover the mouse cursor over a fader and move the mouse wheel up or down. If you hold down the shift modifier, it will move the fader in increments of 0.1 dB. If you hover the mouse cursor over the text field at the bottom, then move the mouse wheel. This will adjust the fader in increments of 0.1 dB without the shift modifier. If you hold down the control modifier, you can adjust the fader in 1 dB steps. The behavior of using the mouse wheel over the fader compared to over the text field is slightly different. I've spoken to Magix about making it more consistent, so hopefully this will happen in a future update. If you want to adjust several faders at once, left click on the header of the first fader you want to select, then hold down shift and click on the last fader you want to select, then all faders in between will be selected. If you want to add extra faders to the selection which aren't next to each other, Hold down control and click on these extra faders. Then these will be added to the existing group. Before you start moving the mouse wheel, be sure to click on one of the faders. You'll notice a small red triangle becomes active on all the selected faders. Then you can move the mouse wheel to move all the faders. Use the shift modifier to move in 0.1 dB increments or hover over the text field to move in 0.1 dB increments without the modifier. 
or 1db steps with the control modifier. Of course you can grab the faders as well, or left click and drag the text field at the bottom. Double click on a fader to reset them to zero. In fact, if you adjust them to one position, then double click to reset them, double clicking again will return them to the previous position. So that's handy if you want to AB between the two levels. To ungroup the faders, click on the strip at the left of the mixer and this will deselect them. Although of course one fader will always remain selected. Anyway, I hope you found those tips on using the mouse wheel useful. So until next time, all the best.